on a story from the Princess Storybook Forever After. Tangled, best wedding day ever. Spring had sprung and Flynn invited Rapunzel to take a special trip with him. Where are we going? she asked. If I tell you, it'll ruin the surprise, Flynn said with a grin. Max and Pascal be decided to come along too. That evening, Flynn took Rapunzel out on the lake. The lovely night reminded them of times past. Flynn wanted to ask Rapunzel to marry him. He reached into his pocket to find the ring, but it wasn't there. It was still on the shore with Max. Luckily, Max noticed the same thing. He sent Pascal flying toward the boat carrying the ring. Now that Flynn had the ring, he asked Rapunzel, Will you marry me? Of course, Rapunzel said. On the way home, Rapunzel wanted to tell everyone the happy news. Their friends at the Snuggly Duckling were delighted. Everyone offered to help the couple with the wedding. Attila helped Rapunzel design a cake. They baked and iced, and finally, Rapunzel had the perfect wedding cake. For the decorations, Rapunzel and Tor looked at the many fancy bulkwits, but it took a field of wildflowers to please Rapunzel. Then Flynn and Rapunzel asked Pascal and Maximus a very important question. Will you be our ring barriers? They answered with a delight, squeal, and neigh. When it was time to find a dress, Rapunzel tied, tried on gown after gown, but none of the dresses were quite right, so Rapunzel decided to create her own. She sketched and it sketched until the design was exactly what she wanted. On the morning of the wedding, everyone waved at the king and queen in the royal coach. When the king arrived at the church, the king greeted Rapunzel. He proudly took her arm, and the ceremony began. Flynn beamed as Rapunzel walked down the aisle. Meanwhile, something had happened to the ring barriers. Max had sneezed, and Flynn's and Rapunzel's wedding rings had rolled away. Max chased one ring, and Pascal chased the other right through the, all the reception decorations. They finally, they arrived back at the ceremony just in time. Max and Pascal had saved the wedding day, wedding by finding the rings, but everything for the reception had been ruined. But Rapunzel and Flynn didn't have to worry for long. The friends who had helped them plan their special day also helped them clean up. Soon the couple were dancing happily. As Tor adjusted the last of the flowers, Rapunzel and Flynn took their first taste of the wedding cake. The couple, the new couple were thoughtful, thankful for the friends had helped them prepare the perfect wedding. Twice, as they rode away happily, Rapunzel cried out happily, Best day ever!